Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees Flash Dance. Flash Dance? Flash Dance? What? Listen, however this movie is pronounced, I am watching it. For those of you that are seeing my face for the very first time, let me tell you what I do around here. I like to watch the biggest TV shows and movies that took the world by storm, yet somehow I managed to miss. And Flash Dance is no different. Flash Dance. Okay, the reason why I'm sitting down to watch this movie is A, because I've never seen this movie before. And B, whenever anybody talks about this movie, I always get it confused with Dirty Dancing. Dancing? Which is another film that I have not seen, so I'm just gonna knock these out back to back. So I can finally differentiate between the two. Okay, so let's look up the plot of Flashdance. A Pittsburgh woman with two jobs, as a welder and as an exotic dancer, wants to get into ballet school. Is that all you're gonna give me? To be fair, you had me at exotic dancer. With that all being said, it's time to strike a pose. Lights, camera, action. Wow, we are gonna be struggling with copyright claims right from the top. What a feeling, woo! Please believe in and make it happen. Okay, so if your helmet was not lying to me, then your name is Alex. Oh, yes. Oh, is this Alex again? Did she go home and have a bath and clean her fingernails before she came to this job? Oh, yes, come on, chair work. Oh, at least she's got the dancing skill and ability. I mean, that is half the job, isn't it? Of trying to get into ballet school. And the other half is obviously how well you fill out a pair of tights. Oh yeah, a lot of floor work. I can get behind that shit. <gasps> yes! Make it rain, bitch. Hyperthermia and pneumonia never look so glamorous. Listen, if there is any exotic dancers watching this video, let me know down in the comments section, how does one get into this kind of job? Is it something that you aspire to be or do this one night and you go out to the club and you throw some shapes on a dance floor and then the club manager kidnaps you? What's this? Come on, Richie. A lesbian with a hard on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Please, don't come at me like that with these unexpected jokes. I've got a cold. I'm going to choke to death. I give you two lousy shots, and already you're talking about going to L.A.? You're too short anyway. They don't let short people into Hollywood. Oh, I feel very attacked. Hi. I saw you dance last night. I just wanted to say hi. Oh my god, why are you so obsessed with me? So what's a dancer doing working as a welder? Girls gotta make a living. You read Vogue? I used to. I mean my wife does. I mean my ex-wife. I'm divorced. We're divorced. Oh my god, Curly Hurley! Too much information. Steady on, babes. Hi, Grant. Hi, Grunt, Grint, whatever your name is. Hey, doggy. Also, this is pure coincidence, but by the time this movie finishes, my hair and Alex's hair, they're going to be in synergy and they are going to be siblings on this day. Oh, here's going to be the inspiration. She's like, oh my God, look how well they fell out of those tights. Have you not seen my physique? I can feel the shit out of those tights. Oh yeah, and I suppose I could dance as well. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I'm obsessed with 80s music, so this is my kind of film. Oh my god, should I be watching this pre-watershed? No offence girl, you is a maniac on the floor, you is putting us all to shame, can you just slow down a little bit? Oh my god, she's making me feel so inadequate. She's like, ah, I'm going to be a ballerina on this day, okay? And not even a single drop of perspiration in my eye is going to stop me from achieving my dreams. Excuse me. Do you know where the admissions office is? The door on the left. Oh my god, look at that pose. Yes, work, bitch. So how do you go about auditioning for ballet school? Do you have to wait for auditions or can you just walk in and go, Bitch, I'm an exotic dancer, you should see how I move my body. <laughs> Admit me. You fill out this application. Be sure and list all your years of dance education. Starting with the most recent place you studied oh. and the number of years at each institution. I studied under the stage name and Desiree. That's a typical exotic dance name, isn't it? Desiree, or Mercedes, or Diamante. When you fill out this application, be sure to list all your years of dance. No! Don't get cold feet. No pun intended. Get warm feet. Come on, you can do it. You is better than half these bitches that I don't even know. Well, actually, I do not know. Did you see some of the poses they were striking? Maybe, maybe you were right and you read the room correctly and it's time for you to leave. But, like, you still got to try, don't you? I mean, I've failed at more things than half the people in my life have even started. So, to me, I'm winning because at least I give it a go. I love this dress. It's exactly like the picture I showed you. Thanks so much for making it. Now, more important, did you, did you go to the river to play? She did, and then she ran away. But, child. They won't take you unless you apply and audition. Yes, exactly. They don't do not know who you is. You gotta go to them. I think you should listen to your grandma. One rule in life, always listen to your grandma. Until she's not looking, but what she don't know won't at her. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been two weeks since my last confession. I'm doing okay, sort of. I've been thinking about sex a lot. Oh! I thought you were thinking about the ballet. If you had seen all those dancers, all those people, God, there's no way I belong there. How does this make you think about sex? I want to do so much and sometimes, sometimes I think that it's just not going to happen. The sex or the ballet? Or both? Look at that. $21,321. All leather, push button. Want to go for a ride? Ugh. Come see my club. I just put this new PA system in and the floor, Christ, it's all lit up right where you're going to dance. I just want you to see what you're going to call home. No, we don't want being an exotic dance anymore. We want character development and we want to go to the ballet. I'm so inspired and envious of people that can move their body in this kind of way. Saying that, I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but I have won a twerking competition or two in my time. Oh my god, dancing seems painful. Your girls eat like pigs. Oh. What happened to the diet? Oh! I didn't eat anything yesterday. I think she's going to be on the ice show. What's wrong with that? You're making a lot of money. You're costing me a lot of money. Oh my god, Mr. Grumpy Guts. Go have a nap. You know, she's really good. You ought to see her. Yeah. She's going to fall on her ass. And how sick and twisted and deranged is that? That your first ever bully happens to be inside the four walls of your home. No, me gusta. What's the matter? Nervous, chick. Now you ain't nervous anymore. Uh, now you're pissed off. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if that worked, but actually you do have a point because I'm distracted and in pain.
But remind me, Richie, why is we nervous? Is we going to go on a plane to LAX? Say, so, I am not short. I am fun size. Hi. How you doing? Very well. You're about the Pollock bank robber. He tied up the safe and blew the guard. <laughs> oh, he's a stand-up comedian. Uh, what's a pimple on a Pollock's ass? A brain tumor. Ah. Uh, listen. I'm going to try and encourage you. Encouraging people to reach for the stars is kind of what I do. Did you hear about the Pollock who died drinking milk? The cow fell on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? It was a shaky start, but you warmed up in the end. But now I feel so unintelligent and thick as shit because the more laughs he got were jokes that I didn't understand. I do not even know what a Pollock is. I thought it was a fish. Alex, sit down here, will you? Cecil, this is a nice ass. Soft, smooth, round, snug. She looks. <laughs> oh, yes, girl. This is what I'm saying. Do not touch my booty without my permission. You know, one of these days, I want to be like, you know, uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, Steve Martin. Until that day. You'll just keep stealing all the material. <laughs> Why does this seem so nefarious? Well, let me go. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing Just to fight about. Hands off me. We're gonna go to Cecil's. Hey, come on. Let me oh my God, is we being kidnapped? Cecil, what the fuck's wrong with you? Let her go, John. Hey, what are you doing here, Nick? Slumming? Oh my God, this seems to be where the party is happening tonight. We are all hanging out in this dark, dingy car park. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm okay. It's gonna look good on stage. <laughs> Guys, why are you so chilled out? You almost got kidnapped. I would not be getting on with my daily life after that. I would be writing up some kind of report, a very strong worded email to somebody. Listen, what can I say? Thanks a lot. I'll give you a lift home. It's okay, I've got a ride. Anyway. No, I think you should take a lift from Curly Hurley. I mean, yeah, he's obsessed with you, but love, you literally just left the bar and nearly got kidnapped, let alone riding all the way home. I think you should take a lift with the crazy stalker. Oh, literally, as I say it, he's literally stalking her all the way home. That's so caring in the most creepiest kind of way ever, Mr. Hurley Curly. Look, even a dog knows, like, why did you follow my owner all the way home? He was not coming inside for no nightcap. Tell him I'll bring him a doggy bag if you have dinner with him. Nick, I told you I don't think it's a good idea to go out with the boss. I know, she keeps saying that. Why aren't you just fired a bitch? Have it your way. You're fired. I'll pick you up tomorrow at eight. Oh, oh, oh my god, he actually did it. I didn't mean it. But now what is your excuse, Mrs. Alex? She gonna go to the priest and go, oh my days, father, I'm really thinking about sex tonight. <laughs> Bitch, you scared my life. Let's go. Let's skate. Oh, Are you impressed? Are you actually impressed? There you were 20 years ago, sweetheart. That is actually quite a weird thing to say, I think. <laughs> Why isn't anybody calling? You don't have to answer. Oh no, she fell on her booty. Mate, you should have styled it out and go, oh, okay, I guess I'm doing floor work for the rest of this routine. Put a voice is in your head. Oh my God, she keeps falling over. Just stay down, babes. Oh my god, your father's gonna have a field day with this, he's gonna cuss you out, he's gonna send you to your room with no dinner tonight. Oh my god, she didn't even finish, she just gave up and just laid and sat where she fell and just like, was like, that is it. Oh, never have I related to a character so much in my life. It's a goddamn waste Come on, it was not. It wasn't. You went out there, didn't you? This is what I'm saying. At least give it a go. Rather than what ifs, 
Take your own advice, Alex, and get your fucking ass down to the ballet school, please. I love you more than I've ever loved anything in my whole life. Oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? You bounce pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I should, probably shouldn't have laughed at that, but... Uh, they have music in Altoona? Well, my father, he loves music. This one time... He took us all to the symphony, my whole family. I'm sorry, love. What are you saying? I do not know because I'm trying to figure out what you're doing and there goes the bra. Okay. Do you ever try? See the music. I can't believe he managed to finagle a date out of her. Don't you want some pizza? Oh. Oh my god, your priest is gonna have a field day at your next confession, honey. And I don't wanna kill the moment, but like, what is happening with my job? Oh my god, cute. So it weren't just like a one night stand thing. They're gonna hang out afterwards. Well, hopefully he can convince her. Love, fear is such a useless emotion. I actually do not think that's true. But just say it anyway and go, listen, you need to go back to the auditions at the ballet school and force them to recognise you. Or maybe it's going to be one of those men that are going to actually discourage it because he's like, oh, my at least with exotic dancing, you is dancing solo. I'll do what no, not what no male ballerina grabbing up on your waist and throwing you in the air and shit. again. What? The dance stuff you just did. I'm not a dancer like that. What do you mean? I beg to differ. I read books and stuff and I watch, but I've never taken dance classes. Well, you could have fooled me, babes. You seem skilled and you do not have to tell the deans of admission or whoever they are the truth. I mean, every job I have, I have lied to get it. So I'm not done. I can't wait to get out there, just so I can disappear. Oh my god, I didn't realise it meant so much to you, girl. Come on, girl, just put on your belly pump and dance. I'll support you. Oh my god, come on, outfit and wind machine. What in a demonic possession am I watching now? But like, why the monotone grayscale face? Am I missing the point of this? You know how to do the horizontal mambo? Hey, Jeannie, I just kid around. I don't need nothing. Keep that. That's a new box. I can't take this. Keep it. It's my way of saying I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, you could do all the wrong you want in my life as long as you keep paying me a hundred dollar bills every time you want to apologize. I implore that shit. I am a struggling ice skater who keeps falling on their bum. I need all the money I can get. Oh! oh. This is sleep. Paralysis inducing this is. I'm going to dream about this tonight. Oh my god. I feel like I've taken some kind of illicit substance. And a trip is not one I would recommend. I still don't understand the point of that piece. I mean, I know art is subjective and open to interpretation. But I do not get it. <sighs> See, this is more relaxing and quaint. Rather than that exorcism kind of moment I just witnessed. Brava! Brava! See, Alex, that could be you if you just tried. 
don't be going around your life saying that you can't do shit and you can't do that, you can't do this. Enough bastards out there gonna say that for you. At least be a fan of yourself. Fuck yourself. At the end of every performance, does the lead dancer always get flowers? Always. How's that make you feel? You will let me know. Hmm? <laughs> you son of a bitch! Alright, I'm assuming that was Curly Hurley who was spotted with another girl getting into a car. And if that actually is the case, then who does he think he is? I was literally on his side not five scenes ago. <gasps> Why is he semi-naked running out of the house like that? Oh my days, I thought this was some kind of miscommunication and misunderstanding. I'll let you penetrate me and this is how you repay me? Jeannie. Look, I love Jeannie, but I just don't have it to give to her right now. She's gonna be alright, she'll be fine. Oh, wait, no. I'll be happy or not happy for you, sir. Well, I'll miss you. I feel like your girlfriend's gonna miss you more, sir. But yes, follow your dreams. Do not let a love interest hold you back. Whether you're in a good mood with them or you need to throw a rock through their window. Take the advice, Alex. F these menses is up in here. Put on those belly pumps and do a pirouette for me. I've done that, Trudy. Save your money. I'm spying your lunch. Why don't you buying me anything? I don't want you buying me, period. Oh. Tell him about himself, sister. The dance benefit, the blonde in the white dress. Who's the goddamn blonde, Nick? Who is this Becky with the good hair, bitch? What's going on around here? Has everybody gone crazy? Last night some idiot throws a rock through my window and... I broke your fucking window! Ooh! You heard me? I smashed your stupid window! <laughs> Are you crazy? Maybe. Are you out of your goddamn Yeah, mind? I am a little Maybe. bit. She's my ex-wife. We have friends on the Arts Council. I see her once a goddamn year to take her to this stupid benefit. Uh... Why am I explaining myself? You didn't have to break my window. You didn't have to go hang out with your ex-wife. But in all seriousness, I am kind of low-key a little bit on his side. You cannot come to my house and damage my property and expect not to be paying the bill. Touch the lobster. Sucks. Oh. Whatever turns you on. Oh. oh, it's the priest. What turns you on? Listen, I thought this show, this movie, I had a preconception that this was about, going to be about Marlo or Alex attempting this whole entire movie to get into ballet school. And if I'm being very honest with you, she hasn't even attempted not once. Oh my days! Oh my days! Ah, what am I watching? You two look cozy. Alex, this is Katie. No. Who the fuck are you? Is you the ex-wife? You look great, Nikki. I don't know why you didn't look this good when we were married. It's probably the company I was keeping. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's funny. As a matter of fact, I fucked his brains out. <coughs> oh my dear God. Also, what is she wearing to this high-class restaurant? This movie is not about my girl trying to spread her wings and spread her legs. No, it is actually about her spreading her legs. I thought she was going to use them to dance. But no, my girl, she got ulterior motives. She knows her priorities. Hello. I'd like to apply for admission to the repertory company. <gasps> yes! This is what I've been saying this whole movie. Auditions are by invitation only and are performed before the committee and select members of the repertory company. Thank you. But we ain't got anything decent on our resume that ain't gonna make your hair curl. 
And this was like the days before YouTube, so you couldn't even just send a link to the video of her pussy popping on her bedroom floor and be like, that's how good I am. She's just gonna have to lie. And I do not support that kind of behaviour, but do it. Mr. Bradley. Nick Hurley. Lara. Hey. Listen, are you still on the Arts Council? Wait. I need a favour for a special friend. Oh my god, is it not what you know, it's who you know? What in the world? A crocodile enters a bar. Punchline. Hey, throw that bum out. I told you they didn't like short people down there. Richie, I thought you went to LA. I didn't know you were disguised as a crocodile. One of them offered me a job. Really? That's great. As a waiter. I said, me a waiter? You gotta be crazy. I can't take a job as any waiter. I'm a cook. Hi, Richie. Oh, I oh, know how awkward you ditched me for a dream that did not come true. <laughs> hey, it's the cook. Or is it the comedian? A nice suit. Oh my god, those $100 bill tips, they actually went far, didn't they? He got the girl, he stole your girl, Richie. Oh, dare he think he can do that just because you is shoot. Oh my god, please say you got an audition. You have to have had an audition, right? Surely. Where does this movie go if she didn't? Yay! Oh my god, let's get to practicing. Yay! So he's done his part. Now, Alex, it is all on you to do your part. Dance tonight away, babes! Congratulations. I'm so excited I can't stop shaking. But what if I don't make it? Oh my god, don't be a negative Nancy. Do not go in there with that mindset. Oh, Hannah, what would I do without you? Oh no, don't say shit like that. That means you're gonna kick the bucket before the end of the film. Called the restaurant last night. I told him it was a very special occasion. What do you mean you called him last night? Well, he went to a fortune teller, she looked in a crystal ball, and she said this was all gonna happen. Come on, you called him last night, but I didn't tell you I got the audition till this morning. I told you, crystal ball. How the hell did you know, huh? Alex, listen. Friends on the committee, huh, Nick? Asshole. Stop the car. Honey, he did not get you a spot on the production. He got you an audition. Listen, all I did was make a phone call. One phone call. I got you the audition. The rest is up to you. That's what I just said. She needs to stop throwing things in your direction, sir. She might be slightly unhinged. And that's coming from me, who called you a stalker at the beginning of this. Who would have thought she was a toxic one? <laughs> Good evening, Bobby. Is Jeannie there? Alex, where the hell have you been all week? Come on, Jake, I don't want to hear it. Is she there? Alex, she doesn't work for me anymore. She's over at the Zanzibar. What? You heard me. Wait. We can't just be kidnapping girls at their jobs. She's been around that slime ball too long. She's like, I know how to kidnap people now that I was almost kidnapped. You want to make a living roller on your back? Yes, so what? I make the money. Look at you. I thought you wanted to be a dead call that damn year. So what's this shit? Huh? Well, it's some kind of dancing. I've even got a dollar bill. And I don't even live in America. So how the hell did I obtain one of these? But I'm going to slide it in your knickers today, Blondie. So wait there, let me get this right. So my girl, she wanted to be an ice skater. She tried out for some kind of show, um, fell on her back and decided, actually, this is quite a comfortable position, so I'm just going to dance on my back from now on. And apparently, her friend has an issue with it. It doesn't matter. The audition, I don't care. You do care. I don't care. You do care. Don't, you can't be honest with yourself. How the hell are you going to be honest with me? Now you listen to me, Nick Curley. I don't need you telling me what to do. And I don't need to... 
Oh my god, look how she keeps putting her hands on him. Toxic bitch. You need to get to ballet school dance. Because you need to dance off all of this aggression, girl. You're not grown up enough to smoke. Oh my god, please keep yourself, keep your hands to yourself, love. I do not appreciate this shit. You're scared shitless of going to that place, aren't you? And you're using me as an excuse not to go. Yeah, to yeah. She is stuck on some day island, and someday she'll try to get off it, but today is not that day. Don't you understand? When you give up your dream, you die. Oh my god, I feel so inspired. Keep talking, sir. You know, it has such a point. You don't want to be on your deathbed at the end of your life thinking, Oh my days, why did I not just dance in front of these people? Because remember that crystal ball from earlier? Well, do you know what? I took a little sneak peek and looked into it. And I feel like you're going to get the role, girl. You just got to put yourself out there. No, don't be nana in and getting no response. Oh my god, Nana. Oh my god, she turned into a chair. She died. Pardon? Yesterday. Pardon? Why you say it so casually like that? Ease me into the shit. Oh no, I knew she was going to die. I said that. Crystal ball. Now you have to audition. You owe it to your grandma. You need to get your flowers. You need to dedicate your audition to your nana. And then you need to go and dance at her funeral. Are you allowed to dance at funerals? Is that appropriate? Maybe at a wake, not at the actual funeral. Well, maybe. Who knows? Someone's got to put the fun in funeral, surely. I know. I feel for you, girl. I can't believe your nana passed away without telling you about it. That is so rude. But grief is actually quite a powerful, motivating tool, if you allow it to be. I mean, it could be debilitating, but it also could be invigorating. So you need to dance and perspirate that grief off of you. May the Lord be in your heart and in your mind that you may Properly confess your sins oh. in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. How long you got, Father? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Okay, so now she's confessed, I think, and she's got it all of her chest. Now a weight has been lifted. So prance, my angel, prance for me. Oh my God, is she actually going prance for us? What kind of prancing is she going to do? Ballet? I'm assuming ballet. She's trying to get into ballet school. But I've not actually seen her do much ballet. I've seen her pussy popping on the floor. I've seen her using a chair to her abilities. But actual ballet? I mm, don't know about that, sister. Oh, wait, no. Did she just stack? Did you just stack, babes? Why do you and your friends stack when the moment comes? Stop choking and dance. Can you start again? Oh my gosh, she actually just gonna start again. I would have styled it out. Floor work. Okay, take two. Time to fuck this shit up, but like in a good way. I'm trying to sing to get past the copyright claim, but I actually do not know the words. But I'm trying, and this is what this film is all about, isn't it? Give it a go. Feeling, please believe in. Make a passion. Ooh! Make it happen. Oh my god, the lyrics, they make so much sense to me now. Yes, slay queen. Oh, 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 yeah, 
Let's come tumble with style. Um, I do not think that is ballet, but I appreciate that still anyway. And make it happen. What a I'm assuming she got in. Oh my god, that would be such a slap to my chops if she didn't. Oh my god, she got the gig and she got the man. But Mr. Nick Hurley, I would um, be a bit concerned because she seems like high maintenance and high work and she cannot keep her hands to herself and she just jumps to assumptions all the time. So. Just be a little bit careful, but yes, come on, Alex, find and work and follow that dream, bitch. All right, guys, so that movie is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. I actually really like this movie. I don't know why I said actually, because it's kind of a classic, and everyone who has recommended this movie to me, which is quite a few people, by the way, they all sing its praises, so I should have known it was going to be quite good. But not only was it quite good, it was also funny, it was inspiring, and I love the 80s music, so I was bopping, and my shoulder was having a little moment, and my foot was tapping. I'm used to watching a lot of TV series where it takes me a few episodes or seasons to really connect with a character, but I found myself connecting with this Alex, with this Hurley, with this Richie, right from the jump, which is always a good sign. Even if this Alex is a horny aggressive bitch. I can get behind that, I think, I suppose, maybe. But this film, basically, the moral of the story is don't just exist in life and let it pass you by. you got to take the ball by the bag. No, I mean the ball by the horns and just take it. It's better to say you failed than to say you didn't even try. Ain't that right, Richie? But in the end, Alex didn't fail. She found herself a man. She had a real good time with him over and over again. She lost her nan, but she kept a promise to her nana. She was like, I'm gonna dance for you. She managed to finally pluck up the courage and do the audition. And not only did she do the audition, she motherfucking smashed that shit. And from the big smile on her face at the end of the movie and her jumping into Mr. Hurley's arms and them kissing each other and little Bert the doggy with a little bow on him, it makes me think she got in. And that just fills me with all the positive emotions that I need in a movie. So if I was going to rate this movie out of 10, I'm going to give this a solid 8. It's something I would recommend. It's something that I would watch again. And it is something that I think is completely justified with being an iconic classic. If not for the music and the hair alone. So there we have it guys. Flashdance is done. And one of the main reasons why I was watching this is so I could tell the difference between this and Dirty Dancing, which I still have yet to see. So that is my next movie on the list. So if you want to be with me while we continue powering out these 80s classics, and you ain't done so yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you're notified when more videos drop. If you liked this video and you enjoyed watching me, watching this, enjoying this, then feel free to hit the like button. It does wonders for the algorithm and it encourages me to sit down and watch these kind of films. And down in the comment section, let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions on this film. Do you like it? Is it worth the hype? Do you have any behind the scenes information on this film? I don't know why, but it just strikes me as one of those films that might have a lot of scandal behind the scenes. So if any of that is the case, let me know down below. And until next movie guys, stay safe out there. What a feeling!